Good evening and thanks for watching WGXA News at 10. I'm Victoria DeCardness. Florida says healthy kids shouldn't get the COVID-19 vaccine, contradicting the CDC and drawing some sharp criticism from doctors, health officials and even some parents. Emotions were high today in Peach County as graphic photos of Anitra Gunn were presented in court. Gunn's boyfriend is on trial for murder. Did those donuts look so good? Oh, man. I didn't. I oh my definitely goodness. got some donuts. Oh, I'm so how, jealous. How can you pass that I, up? It was quick hard. Quick. I actually had a salad. I was proud of myself, but uh, yeah. You are better than I. We, you are better than <laughs> no. I. No. <laughs> but a Spotlight on America investigation found they're being used thousands of times for discipline. National investigative correspondent Josie Sturman discovered students with disabilities are more often impacted, with the seclusion and restraint even leading to injuries and death. And we do want to warn you tonight, some of the scenes in this next story are disturbing. Now the United States and Great Britain sound the alarm that Russia may try to use chemical weapons in Ukraine. Some great words from Latanya. Obviously, she's a very proud mama. Well, the games are happening now until Friday. Elementary school students competed yesterday. Middle school students had their chance today. And high school students are on deck for tomorrow. Also tonight, a boater has gone missing on Lake Sinclair after his boat hit a log, throwing him out of the vessel. Brittany, that was great. I've had my <laughs> drink awesome. here. This is the crazy moose. I'm Get watching that. you over on the side. Fun fact, this was originated here at the Cherry Blossom Festival. You might want to come and get it because there's a lot of candy on there. There is. I gained yeah. 10 pounds looking at that, but it looks amazing, <laughs> doesn't it? Lawmakers are introducing bills to ban 1619, while college professors are going in the opposite direction. The National Desk's Angela Brown breaks down the support and the pushback. Have opened an investigation into whether the video sharing platform TikTok is harmful for children. An investigation last year looked into Instagram for similar concerns. We do have to warn you, though, these images are very graphic, especially me chowing down on a slice of pizza with grease rolling all down my face. OK, I do have to say it's because that pizza was very fresh. You can, and there's Eric getting a mouthful of a massive cinnamon roll. Lawmakers are doing everything they can to get their bills across the finish line and making moves you might not have ever heard of. Today, the prosecutors who tried that case shared the work they did leading up to the trial. Our Brittany Miller has been following Anitra Gunn's story and was at that press conference today and filed this report. Same weather system that has produced tornadoes the last couple of days is going to bring a severe threat to Georgia tonight. Let's start with Chief Meteorologist Eric Garlick for the latest on that severe threat. Eric? An eight-year-old lost his life today after he was shot in the head on Friday night. It happened in Houston County while the boy was in a car outside of his home. And our Brittany Miller visited that street today and spoke with neighbors who say the shooting has them thinking of their own children's safety. And the biggest part of this race this weekend is that new banking on the track. And that's where we're going to find our Nick Gibson right now. Nick, how's it going down there? Well, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp has qualified for re-election as the Republican tries to brush off his GOP challenger and middle Georgia native David Perdue. The Biden administration is looking overseas to increase oil production after banning Russian oil imports. Republicans say there's more than enough oil here to make up the difference. Last week's Making the Grade, we told you about the teacher recruitment tax credit meant to bring more teachers to underserved schools. How are they doing it? Offering $3,000 to teachers per year for five years. The question is, will it work? Now to some national headlines. Former Empire actor Jesse Smollett will spend 150 days in jail for faking a hate crime against him. Top, you know, uh, a family member for a million dollars. And that's always like the fine line of morality and, you know, a million dollars. I flip flop my answer. What yeah, about you? I, I'm going to go with wheels. I initially said doors. So here was the thinking and the logic behind our producers and some of our production staff. You have cabinet doors, you have car doors, you have regular doors, right? Yeah. But then if you think about wheels, there's wheels on obviously cars, on your office desk chairs. 
There's wheels in the clock. There's wheels in drawers. Wheels in drawers. When you said that one, my mind just was blown. Well, that's all the time that we have for now. Thanks for watching. The National Desk is next. Good night, everyone.